Hello there and welcome to Legal Break. I'm Maureen Akers and with me today our legal expert Gary Bruce. Gary, thank you so much for joining us again. Good to be here. Yes, we're glad to, uh, if you're just joining us, our Wednesday segment, Legal Break. Thank you so much and we're going to talk about some legal issues in the news. Can we talk today about the state of medical care? Well, I hope I can help, but I don't have, I don't know much more about it than the others. I see it in my practice, of course, but what a mess. Right. And I had a business owner tell me that their compensation for Medicare has dropped dramatically and it's made such a big impact on their business. How do you see that and how does that, I guess, pertain in the, in the legal world and what you see? Well, as a small business owner here, mm -hmm. it impacts us. I mean, it, the, the, the rates and such have changed so much, it's just hard to provide you know, the coverage you want for your employees. I, right. It's difficult and I see that across the board for small business owners. But uh, as a lawyer, right. I see it because I think people are confused about who pays what, mm -hmm. you know, what, uh, what pays if I'm going in, and I see it in the context of treatment for an injury, so to, you know, that kind of mm -hmm. situation. Who pays? Does the third party pay? Does some doctor's offices will tell you that. Well, no, you need to get paid by the by the person responsible. Well, who determines that? Mm -hmm. you know, that's left to juries and judges, not the office administrators. So right. there's confusion there. Who, what happens, does, Med does Blue Cross pay me or TRICARE pay me? Uh, there's issues about that. I contend, and I, I think they do, mm -hmm. Medicare, all of them do pay. We just have an obligation on the backside sometimes to reimburse that amount. Mm -hmm. The question comes up from jurors, you know. Yeah. Who, well, if they've already been paid their insurance, the insurance already paid the bills, what do well, we award as, as damages? Right. Uh, the truth is the judge tells you what to award. You award the amount of the bills if you think they're reasonable and, and customary, and that has to be proven in the trial. So the, this issue comes up a lot, mm -hmm. you know. It's really not an issue for a jury to consider whether you have bought insurance or paid for insurance on your, on your own. That's it's called It's whether collateral. or not you need medical That's right. the, care. The, and, and that is and taken care of later. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. taken care of outside of the juror's decisions. But right. it's, a, it's something called collateral source. And in Georgia, we still have that rule. If you're wise enough to protect your family with insurance, mm -hmm. that's not to the benefit of the person who puts you in that predicament. Mm -hmm. In Alabama, they've abolished that rule, which is, a little odd, but uh, anyway, that's where we are. So questions are everywhere about this yes, stuff. Yes, they and, are. Um, and anyway, if, sometimes we can help with them. Right, absolutely. So again, if, if you have confusion about that or, or, the, or medical care or that coverage or how, how it pertains to you legally, especially if you've in if a legal happened situation, to you, then, then right. you can possibly answer well, those questions, right? We can, a lawyer can help with that's that. That's right, thank, thank you, you so very much, Gary, and I look forward to seeing you on the very next legal break.